the head of the painting department <laughs> said to me, and I quote, you should never paint again. The biggest authority in my life had told me, I can't do this. I almost failed home ec because my little apron fell apart and the home ec teacher told me, you will never learn how to sew. And so it's funny that sewing's really come to define my life in so many ways. We're all capable of standing up and saying, no, you don't get to decide if I'm creative or not. I'm gonna decide if I'm creative or not. Very few people are born with talent and confidence and skill wrapped up in a nice little bow. Like, especially with social media, you're seeing everybody's work out there and you're often seeing the work of really established artists who've been doing this for years, decades even. If I think about how I used to draw and how I draw now and how much easier it is for me now, and that's only because I've had 30 years of drawing. The difference is the people that succeed stick with it and have been doing it longer. You just can't compare yourself as a beginner to someone who's more experienced. The way you find your voice as an artist is to just experiment and play and try different things. When you're playing, it bypasses insecurity, procrastination, perfectionism. Instead of driving me to hide, self-doubt inspired me to work really hard because once I realized that people were paying attention, I wanted to be as good at it as possible. It's okay to make mistakes, and that's how you learn. And sometimes what I think is a mistake is actually a really good direction to continue going in. We have to be very diligent and be excited about being diligent about what we're doing and what we're making. I know it's hard, but we're making such progress, and you cannot unsee progress.